Nowruz is the name of the Persian New Year and marks the first day of spring. It has been celebrated for more than 3,000 years not only in Iran but in other countries as well. Celebrating Nowruz has become so widespread that in 2010 United Nations General Assembly recognized the International Day of Nowruz. Canadian Parliament also added Nowruz to the National Calendar of Canada in 2009. So what does Nowruz mean? The word Nowruz is a Persian compound word consisting of two words. No meaning new and Ruz meaning day. No ruse, therefore, means that a new day has begun, signalling the beginning of the new year. Interestingly, despite its popularity around the world, there is little agreement on the correct spelling of no ruse, and numerous variations exist. As their most important national holiday, a typical Iranian family usually prepares for no ruse a couple of weeks in advance. They start with a tradition called khunetekuni which literally means shaking the house. Many spend days and days cleaning every spot of their home before the beginning of the new year. Close to the arrival of Nowruz, you may encounter men dressed in red on the streets of Iran whose faces are covered in soot. Called Haji Firuz, these men are the heralds of Nowruz. They sing and dance and deliver the news that Nowruz is coming. Haji Firuz is the sidekick of Uncle Nowruz, the equivalent of Santa Claus in the Persian culture. Similar to Santa Claus, Uncle Nowruz is also an old man with a white beard who brings gifts and good luck to people. The most prominent symbol of Nowruz is called the Hafsin table, and Iranians put extra care to decorate it. Hafsin in Farsi means the seven S's. It has seven items that start with the letter S and each item represents an important symbol of life. Perhaps the most important element is sabze, which is wheat or lentil sprouts grown in a dish. It is a symbol of rebirth. Seeb or apple is a symbol of beauty and health. Seer or garlic is a symbol of medicine. Serke or vinegar is a symbol of age and patience. Shumak is the symbol of the color of sunrise. Senjed or silver berry is the symbol of love. And finally, Samanu, which is a sweet pudding, is a symbol of affluence. A half seen table usually includes a holy or well known poetry book, a mirror, coins, decorated eggs, lit candles, a bowl of water with goldfish, and dried nuts. All in all, half-seen tables are usually decorated elegantly and are very colourful. Iranians start the celebration of Nowruz at the time of the spring equinox or the first day of spring which is around March 21st. This is the time of the year that sunlight is evenly divided between the north and south hemispheres. Traditionally, Iranians start the celebration at the exact time that Nowruz arrives. It doesn't matter if it is midnight, 2 p.m. in the afternoon, or 4 a.m. in the morning. They dress up in their new clothes and gather around the half seen table. Then they wait for the exact moment of the spring arrival. Many visit their closest family members right after the arrival of Nowruz. For this reason, you may see many cars in the streets of Iran at 5 a.m. if the exact arrival of Nowruz was 4.30 a.m. Interestingly, many Iranians believe that whatever a person does during Nowruz will affect the rest of the year. Therefore, your chances of finding kind and affectionate Iranians during Nowruz are quite high. Nowruz celebrations last for 12 days. Schools and many offices are closed during this period when visiting friends and family is the main activity. Iranians regard the 13th day as a bad luck day. In order to avoid the bad luck associated with the number 13, they go outdoors for picnics on the 13th day of spring. This day is called Sizdebedar, which means getting rid of the 13th. Traditionally, on Sizdebedar, some girls tie the leaves of their sabza dish before throwing it away. When they tie, they express their wish to get married 
before the next sees the bazaar. Happy Nowruz everyone! We hope that you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends so that they also know about Nowruz. Thank you.